After what seemed to be an interminable amount of sanding, I could finally move on and start making the base. I started by making slip tenons to attach the horizontal members to the stretcher. After doing a dry fit, I can move on to laying out some of the curves to make the straight boards look a little bit more pleasant. Using a French curve, I laid out the curves that I thought looked nice and then cut off the excess with the bandsaw and refined the curve with a belt sander. From the very beginning, I knew I wanted to use live edge boards for the base, so I started by cleaning up the boards with the planer and trimmed them to length on the table saw. To match the splay angle of the horizontal members, I set my table saw blade to the matching angle and ripped off the inside of each of the legs. Using my plunge router, I cut a mortise in each end of the leg so I could use slip tendons again to attach the legs to the stretchers. I cut a corresponding mortise in each of the horizontal members and used a chamfer bit to break all the edges to give it a nicer feel and look. After getting everything assembled, I laid out and marked for the holes where I was going to put bolts to attach the tabletop to the base using threaded inserts. Using the marks from the drilling the holes in the base, I drilled corresponding holes in the underside of the tabletop and epoxied in some threaded inserts. then bolted it down to secure it to the table and proceeded with the rest of the assembly. had some help in the shop, which is why the assembly went so smoothly. Are you helping me in the shop? Look, it's my hand uh, I do see your hand is pretty awesome hands. Can you show your pretty dress? Does it have a rabbit tail? That's pretty fun, isn't it? After assembling the bottom stretcher in the same way I did the top, I put it on the legs to mark the locations of the mortises. After marking for the mortises, I pulled it apart and did the same shaping as I did for the base. I 
did have the camera running for a rather complex glue up. However, I failed to check the status of the battery and it died shortly after starting. So here's the moment of truth. Does the base sit flat on the table? So the final piece to the base is a single board that ties both the legs together. Using a template I laid out a curve I thought looked nice on a couple of pieces of wood and cut them out on the bandsaw. Since I don't have a flush trim bit big enough to smooth this out, I was back to more hand sanding with a piece of adhesive back sandpaper on a thin piece of acrylic, which worked great to match the curves. I attached the entire piece with glue and screws and let it sit. Next I used a bowl bottom router bit to route away a portion of the bottom, creating a foot on either side so the table will sit a little better. Time to flush that up with a hand plane, sand the whole top, and spray on some finish, and she'll be done. the breadboard ends just a little proud because I expect the tabletop to expand and contract with seasonal changes. In fact, having lived with it for a couple of months now, it's already moved just a bit. I sprayed on about five coats of Verathane's professional polyurethane, sanding between each coat, moved the table into the dining room, bolted it together and it was done. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, share with a friend, all that type of stuff, and let me know what you thought of the table down in the comments.